Hello, my name is Wade Nimmer, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. One of the interesting programs that we do in Rotary is to focus in on the youth. And today we're looking at Interact, uh, specifically the Ventura Interact Group. And with me today I have Ali Tayeb. You are the Thanks. president, correct? Of yes, sir. Thanks for having Interact. me. Great. Yes. And Irene Henry, who is the advisor, correct? That is correct. Thank Great. you. I'm going to start with you, Ali. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, my full name is Ali Reza, but my friends generally just call me Ali because the whole thing is hard to pronounce. <laughs> we came here two years ago, my family and I, from Persia. Wow. And Interact just has been like my first introduction to just American culture and just the way America is. And generally, I love community service in the way it is, but Interact has just changed the the whole perspective for me. Now, do you, yeah. have you heard of uh, Rotary before? Uh, that's actually the reason that I've joined Interact. It okay. was because oh. we had one Rotary club in our city. Oh, okay. I don't remember if it was exactly the name was it, but I think it was the Rotary Club of Tehran. Okay. And it was, you know, automatically that I came here, it was the first thing that sounded familiar. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. Right. That's good. Yeah. And what size is your club right now? How, how many members well, do you have? Well, right now we have on the people that actually turn in the application, we have about 70 to 100, wow. if I'm correct. Yeah. Yeah, very good. And which comes from a lot of previous history, the efforts of marketing that we did. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. And then Irene, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a past Rotary president, and I was originally involved in Rotary, actually, in Santa Barbara. That's where I started. And I actually, originally from Chicago, okay. where Rotary began. Right. And I got Marshall Fields and those martini cigar luncheons and <laughs> morphed all the way over to here. And then from Santa Barbara, Rotary transferred it over into the Ventura. At one point, I became the president. And then figuring out a piece, because I also coached volleyball at one point, and I said I really like working at the high school level and the liaison for the Rotary Interact Club was no, she left the club no longer doing it, and they also needed somebody for the Rotary Youth Leadership Academy. So it was kind of a joint peanut butter and jelly sandwich, if you will. Okay. And I said, okay. you know what, I'll love to do that. So I said, I'll do that. And uh, it's been going on five years. Wow. And it's been fun. We've just, we, we do a lot of community yeah. services on and off site, so very enjoyable. Good, good. And your professional life, what do you do? I am my professional life. I'm like a good neighbor. I'm a State Farm agent. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good, good. And that ties together well. Did you yes, say with Rotary? Yes, because State Farm is a good neighbor. We do, and a lot of times, some of our community services are connected. Yeah. Connected. So okay. we, for the first time in Ventura County, did the Ronald McDonald 5K. And that's the first one, first house they're going to have in Ventura County. So State Farm, my office, and Dina Rogers' office, we were a, a corporate sponsor or our independent offices as sponsors. And then we brought in Interact, and they came in and did face painting and hair braiding. So there's a lot of times when we do joint projects. I ran for office. A lot of my interactors <laughs> knocked yeah. on doors for me, so they became politically engaged, very, very whether good. they wanted to or not. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> so it's good. been a very rewarding experience. So what attracted you to Rotary? I know you've been to quite a few clubs. You said three different clubs. So. Two, two. Yeah, I, was, okay. I was born and raised in Chicago, but, okay. the, what, but what did attract me to Rotary is I've always done community service type things things okay. and Rotary is kind of like Baskin Robbins 31 flavors got it. so you can exactly. go in there and you go oh I want to go build a house in Mexico which by the way due to Dale and the Ro the Rotaract group I've done that once okay. or you want to do Christmas kid shopping or you want to collect coats for kids or you want to participate in doing the polio and go over to, there. you know, there's so many different possibilities and you can pick and choose what works right. best for you. Good. And I think that that's one of the best things that Rotary offers is a variety of choices. Opportunities, yeah. An opportunity. Now, personally for you, what keeps you engaged? What, what is that one special passion you think that's fulfilled with Rotary? Oh, I can tear up and speak. Oh. <laughs> is it? Yeah, nice, really. Nice, very nice. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Great. Okay. Yeah. And how about you? I'll tell us a little bit about you and how you got involved with the Interact and what you think about Rotary. Uh, well, you know, in general, I have a long history with community service okay. uh, back from where I'm from just till this point. Okay. And I've been involved in many other clubs before. 
But, you know, I've been involved in a school with different clubs, but just being an Intrac member, because I've, I've been in Ventura High School Intrac for four years now, probably with this year coming up, mm -hmm. I saw there are like these differences with Rotary that are not with other organizations. Okay. I saw there's again variety of opportunities. Mm -hmm. There are just tremendous amount of diversity in the people, the way they do things, the way they reach out to the community. And it really attracted me to the what their true purpose is and how different they are from the other organizations, okay. which was really fulfilling just to be a part of it. Okay, so you're saying, um if I understand right, Rotary had, I would say, the next level for you, something Exactly, that, exactly. That had it had that difference with me that I realized, okay, this is what I want to be a part of. This okay. is what I want to okay. do. Okay. Now, this coming year, you'll be the president, correct? Or I will the be the year? past president. Past yes, president. I was okay. the president this year, okay. but uh, I will be the past president this coming year. Oh, great, great. Usually the president's the senior, so... Yeah, and they usually I, I go know. So good for you. Um, <laughs> Thank you. What did you uh, envision the office would hold for you? Was it something you wanted to do? or? Well, you know, as soon as, because this year we did a lot of different things. One of the reasons that we got this large amount of number of members was that actually the different ways that we approached every single problem. But I knew there were going to be challenges at times. And, you know, I did know that I, the main reason that I picked it was at first the service to the community, but then to learn the things that they, I don't learn in high school. Okay. I don't learn in my normal environment class, like, you know, interacting with people. So definitely I would say the challenges, but again, the opportunities that I could participate in and be a part of. Good. Now, was there one specific project or event that you were really focusing on yourself? Myself, well, one part that I was really, really focusing on was the marketing and just the oh, membership okay. drive of it. And this year, something that we newly did that we haven't done before, at least to the best of my knowledge, right. was the, a membership drive. You know, mm -hmm. I'm also a very interested in business, mm -hmm. the business part of it. And I Good. see, like, you know, Interact has some things, Interact, Rotary Interact has some things that young people would definitely be interested in, especially Good. the youth, Good. the way they approach things. But the problem is that there is this miscommunication mm -hmm. between them. So I was like, okay, there is, we need to go talk to them, see what we're about, what our sponsors Rotary is about, and just let them know the benefits that they will be receiving by joining with us to this journey that we want to accomplish. So as a result of that, uh, fortunately, it was successful. We had a good membership turnout, and a lot of people fell in love with Rotary to the point that a lot of them are looking forward to even doing more programs, right. like the exchange program. Right. A lot of students are now focusing on being able to attend RILA from hearing right. the, from the people that have experienced it before. So yeah, I would say definitely the membership drive. So it sounds like uh, your club has done an outstanding job of making that connection. Because unfortunately, Thanks. oftentimes, Interact, they don't even realize it's Rotary. Correct. They, exactly. go, they go by the name only. It's just Interact. Interact. Just Interact and Interact. Very okay. good. Oh, good to hear. Well, you brought some pictures. Uh, how about if we jump did. into a few of those? Yeah. We can talk about awesome. those. We'll start with uh, a few of these there. First, First picture. So, yeah, we do a variety of different projects mm -hmm. to a lot of points. And, uh, you know, a lot of them come from inside high school or outside high school. That's yeah. the holiday shopping. That's, yes, that's one of our most favorite projects. I mean, why don't you say? <laughs> it's the holiday it. shopping where we, it's a joint, it's a trifecta. It's between Rotary, Rotaract, and Interact. Mm -hmm. And we take approximately anywhere from 50 to 70 students and we, they get a list of needs, not necessarily wants, like things that socks and so shoes. So these, these are the underprivileged that you're serving on Exactly. And we'll okay. take them shopping, and then nice. they get a Santa Claus visit. Oh, that's it great. Is fun. And that and is a good one. You know, you can just see the joy that's in De definitely so. their eyes. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And how many, uh, you said about 40 or 50? More like 50 to 70. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. 70. So it's a range. Great. Yes. Great. Yeah. Now, do you partner this with one of the other... We part, our parent club is the Rotary, the downtown Ventura Rotary Club, yes. and then the Rotaract group, which is the group between 18 and 34. Mm -hmm. So all three clubs go and volunteer and take a student shopping. Okay. We all do it on yeah. the same day. And then afterwards, we go to the school district building. There's a lunch, and there's some arts and crafts. Yeah. Every kid gets to get a coat. 
And then they also get a toy that's specifically selected for them. Nice. And Santa comes in and visits. And <laughs> every kid get gets a, an opportunity to yeah. sit on Santa's lap. Now, is there a toy. store or something like that that partners with you that you go to? We Penny. do. J.C. Penney. J.C. Penney. Mm -hmm. Yes. They've okay. been great about it. So they nice. let us in before the store opens and we get to shop okay. with the kids. And then they actually give us an additional discount nice. to add on to that, too. Yeah. Very so good. So it is. It's been very, a very good program. Okay. So we're going to jump into the next picture then and the next picture um it's like a classroom here. yes is that correct so that is actually our career college and career center okay. in ventura high school and the guy that you see that's one of our one of the best um speakers that we had guest speakers thanks to irene and the rotary club <laughs> good he's yeah. actually a rotarian dr melvin cheatham and his wife sylvia and you know he is a neurosurgeon that truly devoted his life towards the service nice. i've heard to the best of he's been to multiple countries doing free, free surgeries and he also received a Medal of Honor from President Obama, if correct. I'm correct. Wow, wow. So yeah, you know, just his perspective, his view of on giving back, to giving to the community, service above self was truly amazing. And we had a and lot of people. That, I see that. So this yeah. was actually one of your meetings or is this a classroom? Yes. We have, wow, what um, are your meetings? Three wow. meetings a month. And this the third meeting is always a guest speaker with okay. pizza. So it was well attended. Okay. Oh, that is yeah. very good. So it's a speaker, not the pizza that's the draw, correct? It's probably both. Uh, <laughs> let's be honest. Just, just, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's probably both. Just definitely. checking on that yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. So the next one we have here, it yeah, looks like, I uh, believe it's a Oh, Isn't that a club? Yes, Article? so that's actually our yearbook. Mm -hmm. This is one of the first years that because of the high member high member attendings we had, mm -hmm. we went into the yearbook that the picture you oh, see is nice. one of. Yeah. Nice. So the, that's actually your yearbook. Right? That's actually the yearbook, yearbook. yeah. Wow. This is one of the, as you see, that was one of our board meetings. We were standing there and they just, just came in from the yearbook like, hey, can we take a picture? Like, yeah, sure. And, you know, they have actually put descriptions of what Entrack Club is, what we do, nice, what is our nice. purpose. Yeah. So you definitely have a presence at the school then. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. That's good. It's true. Again, another one that's hard to do. <laughs> exactly. Getting noticed. Good for you. And then we have next. Oh, here we go. Yes. The that leadership. Is actually, yes. You, you see, you guys are standing right next to me. I was honored to be able to attend the Pearls program, okay. which is one of the very few opportunities that Rotary usually offers to young people like myself and you know our parents club rotary was irene as well generous enough to let me go yeah. so these are like one thing that rotary has with it is different leadership trainings mm -hmm. which are absolutely legit compared to a lot <laughs> of the other things that i attended that offers to the young people so they can reach their full potential. So tell us a little bit about that. What did you? What was your takeaway? Did you? What did you? Well, really there's so many things to be honest. Like you know, I've attended multiple programs. One of them was my, one of my favorites was definitely Ryla mm -hmm. Rotary Youth Leadership Academy, right, right. which is you know you get to meet people from all around the world, and it is just an eye-opening experience, just to a point of how leadership is supposed right, to be done. Right how good leaders act, react, and you know, just the ex different expectations mm -hmm. that come along with those in positions good, good. like that. And you know, the takeaway would be that definitely sometimes you're expected to do more than you know, you're asked. And that's always a good point to look when, especially in community service, you're trying to give back. It's mm -hmm. always good to know that you have to put more in than your other peers. Very good. Now, how about the Pearls program? What did you grab out of that? Pearls program, you know, I've to even to this point, any time that if we want to have a meeting or if I'm having an issue with one of the board members or just with the club in general, I always, most of the times, go back to the book that I was given, good, good. take look look at the notes, and just to the information because again, these are not the things that they teach you in high school or yeah. if I'm wrong in college. Sometimes these are only the things that you can get with hands-on programs like Pearls and. Good. Other Very good. Programs, yeah. Let's see what else we have here. Next picture up we have is <coughs> okay. Yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, that's the Christmas C party. City Center Christmas okay. party, and this is another yes. trifecta type of event. 
So this is actually headed by Rotaract, where the holiday shopping is headed by Rotary. So Rotaract, again, the group between 18 to 34, they have been working with City Center, which is a transitional living space, and they host various events there, and one of them is a holiday one. Okay. So Rotaries, Rotarians come in as well as Interact. So our kids go and help their kids yeah. frost cookies oh, nice, and nice. they eat pizza the and again family, there's yeah. the Santa visit and the whole thing. Nice. So we're we're in their home and it's just a very it's a very it makes the holidays pretty special. Exactly. Now how do you organize it? Is it done with the Rotary Club, with the Interact Club or in conjunction with it? Because I know you said Rotaract was also involved. This so. was, yeah, and this was Rotaract's program. That was Rotaract's so program. So what, okay. what the varying entities do, like when Rotary has, say, for instance, the holiday shopping thing, they reach out, and we know in advance it's on such and such a date in December, and they're going to need X amount of volunteers. So then we put it out there. These will be the 15 events we do this year, and these are the wow. amount of volunteers we're going to look at. Rotaract and Interact started parting, partnering up more strongly, if you will, at exactly. least five to six years ago. And so whenever Rotaract has a project, because Dale, who is their liaison, mm -hmm. and he's in Rotary, so we communicate all the time, and, and Dale will say, we're going to do city center. And Rotaract is smaller. They have maybe 12 to 20 members, where okay. we're at 70 strong or more. Okay. Wow. So they'll say, we need somebody to help hide Easter eggs at Easter time, and we need at least another 20. Can you get Interactors? So we partner. I go to Rotaract board meetings. Dale will come to an Interact meeting. Got so it. that way they aren't strange faces. And in that one picture, when you're talking about pearls, too, you saw Connie, who's our mm -hmm. incoming president. We have Rotarians and Rotaractors go to various meetings, mm -hmm. so everybody isn't foreign and building on the relationships sure. moving forward. So they're like, who's Ollie? Everybody knows Ollie now, trust me. <laughs> that's true, everybody knows Ollie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For the good reasons. I know. Oh, thank you. I For all good reasons. Yeah. Yeah. So that sounds like a lot of time and effort. Do you guys actually have also committee meetings then within the club special for the, the youth programs? And yes, uh, I would say once in a while we do like a couple meetings that are joined together where like I either I or with my board attend the with mm -hmm. Rotary so that we can sort of figure out. Right, we actually plan. did a, we started this about four or five years ago again too as the youth director on the Rotary board and then the co-director because we wanted to let them know this, this is the kind of monies we're going to need to look to have moving forward. Right. If you want our interactors to go to district conference or to do all of these things, they're high school students. We're going to need to have to fund. And of course, they're giving us all these volunteer hours. So it's a good quid pro quo. And this way you have a direction and they're not a foreign face. You're not, that's not having right. something happen on its own at your Rotary board meeting. And we actually just had, now it actually has grown. Before it used to be Dale, myself, the president, like six people. And we just had a meeting at Indy's place at MJP Computers. And there were about 15 people in wow. attendance yeah. because we brought Rotaract mem board members there too and Interact, which hadn't and happened directors. before. But we That's said, good. you guys yeah. need a seat at the table because we're discussing what's going on in your world. So you need to be at this table too. Of course, yeah. So they were, and it was great. That is great. Yeah. Um, the reason I'm asking the questions, your club and yours, is probably one of the most successful I've seen. Oh, thank so you. Because, oh, thank because you very of much. that, yeah, we want to share that so people can gather a little bit of best practices. So mm -hmm. that's why the questions. That's no, good great. To know. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. The key. Well, let's jump into some more pictures. The next one we have here. <laughs> so that is actually again the College and Career Center. Okay. If you can look, this is this was one of our general meetings. Okay. If I think those are the board members over there and with another member of Interact. So the, that's generally and over there that's Parker Jelson. Yeah. He's uh, he was on the show. <laughs> really? Yeah. With the yeah. Rotaract, yeah. Right. 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 So yeah, and back there is our principal at a school. Oh, okay. So yeah, Good. one of the things that we actually do we invite the staff. Good. And mm -hmm. we give them T-shirts to just let them know, hey, nice. we are, and you know, just sometimes what we do once in a while is we invite our principal and say, if you guys are facing any problems in a school, we would be happy to assist if nice. the, in nice. any way we can help. So it's a good way that we try to stay connected with our 
staff mm -hmm. and community through the connections. Good. Good. And that's just generally one of the uh, general meetings. And you know, for all of the board members, I've heard that these are one of the times that they can, because you know, sometimes in high school, these right. are all AP honor roll, really good students right. that have right. a lot of pressure on them. Mm -hmm. So one of the other benefits that they actually get is just being able to come to the meeting, take a deep breath, yeah. Yeah. talk about what they want to do, the things they look forward nice. to, and just have a good lunch. That's oh, good. Like and uh, one of the other ones, again, that I've seen either makes or breaks an Interact Club is, is the staffing, the, the faculty. So it sounds like you have that one exactly. well in hand and they have yes. definite buy-in. I'm going to speak on the picture a bit and then go back to the faculty. In the picture, too, was Dale, the mm -hmm. person. And so he's the Rotary and the Rotaract liaison. That was right. just a great picture because he was in that picture. Then there was an Italian exchange student, right. not a Rotary exchange okay. student. But it was kind of cool because we had a little bit of Italy. And then this year, we, we brought the Rotary exchange student program back into play. So we had our Rotary exchange student. Colin was here from France. And then we had Parker, as you mentioned. So we had the Rotaract president there right. and the president. So this, that picture had a lot of people power in it. A lot of flags uh, in it. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it was pretty cool from that. And as far as Ventura High School they and the liaisons that we've had over the years, they've been awesome. Some of them were liaisons for three or four years. And when they transitioned off, they would pass the baton on. but give really good communication. Good. So when we came on board, it would be smooth. It it would, right. we, we would have right. maybe a little hiccup, but it was always yeah. Yeah, really well, good. And, and when we did, with the Christmas thing, that's so well known at Ventura High School. Uh, prior liaisons come and volunteer to go shopping because they enjoy uh -huh. that event. Some okay. of them have volunteered yeah. at the color run. So a lot of times they <laughs> exactly. come and volunteer because they enjoy being That's there. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is good. So you can always count on that. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Extra nice. volunteers. Yeah, it just nice. becomes contagious. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Everybody comes in. Let's see, what else we have? We have another picture here coming up. Oh, so that comes from the same one, just same a one. little bit closer. Okay, you know, a little close up there, some of your, yes, your so members. Exactly, yeah. that's the guy who passes is Giovanni from Italy. Mm -hmm. he, I think he's back there over there. And, you know, Mia Collins, the girl that you see right next mm -hmm. to the guy with the flags, I think she went to Italy okay. as an exchange student. Oh, good. I'm not entirely sure if it was with Rotary or not, but yeah, this is just the same picture, a little bit closer. Uh, very good. Yeah. And that's Irene right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. There you go. And we have another picture coming up. Uh -huh. This oh. is. That is, do you want to go on with that? You, this is your this favorite is your, event. It is, but you. you. <laughs> so, oh, thanks. So this is actually our Valentine's Day dance. Ah, and okay. the thing is we throw up a dance from bottom to the top, all the way from decorations, DJ, food, mm -hmm. for our special needs student. Oh, and nice. this dance, again, just like Irene said, is very well known in the school that a lot of times the staff even come, sometimes for the food, sometimes for the dancing and <laughs> volunteering. Uh -huh. And you know, we team up with the other clubs in the community. They like this event so much mm. that actually a lot of times Key Club comes in and okay. volunteers with us. Oh, good. But yeah, this just, we throw up a whole dance all from top to the bottom for our special needs of student. Oh, that is awesome. And yeah, we also have uh, other programs for them as well. We have a special needs picnic mm -hmm. that we put on music, we bring on food, we have multiple Good. board Good. games. True. Yeah, that was the picture from <coughs> that. Outstanding. We will jump into another picture next. This picture here is yeah, so we took another event going here. Exactly. You guys that's, are hard at work. That is the same event. It's the, again, special needs dance. It is, that's where we also sometimes what we do, some of the things that thanks to Irene we had this year was that we were able to give them gifts. Oh, nice. So Gift that bags. Can, oh, yeah. For every, every attendee. Yeah, every that was attendee right. they can take in. So that's, and jello shots. No, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> not jello shots. Not in Ventura. Not, no, not a joke. Ventura. Uh -uh. But yeah, so that's where we set up the food and, you know, pizza, drinks. You guys did a great job. Yeah. Good, good. Next picture we have. Oh, ah. you go with this one. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. we'll share. <laughs> we, one of their main fundraisers every year is a bake sale. So Randy and Doug have been kind enough to lend us their kitchen every year. They have three ovens and Randy actually does all the prep work as far as getting all the product. And we've had 
approximately 40 bakers in their wow. kitchen. They come in two shifts, usually 20 and then another 20. And we bake everything from brownies to cookies to, and, and then we bring Thanks. it to the Rotary Club. We do it in the month of February because sweets, February 14th, we do it around the week of Valentine's Day. And then we auction them off at the club, and that's how they raise their funds Got for it. the things that they do, like hosting the special needs picnic, or they also have done yes. food drives. So these are the ones that we we see during the year. You guys mm -hmm. actually auction these off right. during right. the meetings. Exactly. Rumor We've actually bought Rumor one has or two. It. <laughs> I didn't buy this one though. Yeah. Rumor has it one of them went for like four thousand dollars. Pretty oh. close. It was probably. Almost. I think the most. A uh, cake is gone for is about twenty eight hundred. Oh, this one here, I think I was there. It was four thousand. Four thousand, then it I won't argue. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, Rotarians generally. We have uh, another picture here coming up. This picture looks like, um, I believe it's one of the special oh, needs. Special exactly. Needs. Yes. Oh, nice, so nice. those two uh, members that you see over there are well, two of our special needs students. And this is probably in the middle of the dance, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Got it. And the two of the key club members, those are not interactors, but you gotcha. know. Gotcha. Okay. Partner together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of the, a lot of the times, what happens is that you know uh, a lot of the key club members they actually come and they enjoy the meetings, they enjoy the things, so they Good. sign up for interact as well. Nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, they do both then. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They Good. do both at the same time. This year we're doing something unique. Uh, the Rotary Rose Parade Float Committee. Actually, we invited in the Optimus president, so we were doing that. Oh, nice. Isn't that kind of cool? So it is kind of neat. Cool. Yeah, like yeah. Little, little different organizations. Got another picture here coming up. Oh. Fourth of July. Fourth yes. of July. So Rotary puts on the fireworks program for the city of, for ourselves as a fundraiser in, in the city of Ventura, and we it's hosted at Ventura Community College. And Rotary, this is one of those trifecta things. Rotary, but Rotaract and Interact, we get to run the Kid Fun Zone. Exactly. So it's the Kid Fun Zone they always and do the kids work. selling tick, tickets, running yeah. the games, the whole thing. It's a blast. We have a lot of fun. You got it. Got another one coming up here. Yeah. So that's our, um, that's our, exactly the meeting that we had with Dr. Cheatham. And you know, it's the picture that we took with him after. The guy mm -hmm. with the red hat is Colin, okay. exchange student Good. from France. And yeah, and that's- And your college career center, okay. Josh. Yes, our and Mr. Francis, yeah, uh, our liaison this year. You know, one of the great things about um, Rotary and Intrac is just that great people that you get to meet throughout the way, the connections you get to have. It's one of the number one advantages, I would say. Well, it sounds good. By the way, we are kind of running out of time here, so we're going to have to okay, fi finish yeah. up the show, but of great, course. we definitely have to have you back. So exactly. come thank back you. for one of these <laughs> yeah, other of ones. So again, thank you both for joining us. Thank you for thank having us. For the for great job. Us. Yeah. It was thank fun. You for <laughs> thank you. Good, good. And with that, everybody, thank you very much. Take a look at the Interact Clubs in your area. Great program, great things, and doing a lot of good work. With that, we'll see you next time. Thank you.